Hello, this is Jay Hode from the Gold Coast Music School here in sunny Australia. And today I'm gonna to show you four easy ways to play an F chord. Now, F is kind of a bit of an arch nemesis for a lot of people on the guitar. It's one of the trickier open chords. And I'm gonna to try to make it really easy for you today, okay? Now it's really important for this particular chord that you know how to play the guitar the easiest possible way. So if you don't know that, please do my free seven day guitar challenge. And that'll talk you through all the easiest left hand and right hand techniques. And Please, if you like what I do, subscribe to my channel and like this video. So the first version of this chord I'm gonna show you today is super simple. It looks just like this. I've got my first finger there, flat across the high two strings, okay? So the first finger is just flat across the B and the E string, super simple. In this picture you can see here, I'm then gonna reach my second finger across just here to the second fret on the G string. So I'm gonna put my second finger just here on the second fret of the G string. Now do our best to get that height on that finger Finger there so it doesn't clip the next string because with our right hand we want to play all three high strings okay just just like that so I've got my left hand down there nice and clean second finger here and all together just like that so that's nice and simple it's a really cool way to play the F it doesn't sound really full but at least if you know it this way when it comes up in a song you're gonna be able to play it and get through the song the next F shape we're gonna look at is the standard way to play an F chord now again please make sure you've got a really good technique for this I see people struggling with this all the time often because their thumbs in the wrong position so that's what the chord looks like there now if I show it to you on the fretboard as well again I've got my first finger flat across there on those high two strings just nice and simple like that last chord I'm going to build my second finger up here now this is where the struggle comes for a lot of people and really my best advice is watching where your thumb is at the back of the neck the two things that I advise is having my thumb in the center of the back of the neck so that bone of the thumb is kind of in the middle of the neck now a lot of people will play up like this with their thumbs and that's great if you've got a big hand or you're a bit more experienced but as a beginner what I find is by having my thumb down here like this it allows me to bring the hand hand forward like this where I can really use it. So definitely a couple of things there. Thumb in the center of the neck at the back there, just like that. And also the thumb in the center of the shape. So if I'm gonna be playing this F chord just like this, I wanna make sure that my thumb is roughly in the center of that shape, just like that. And what I'm gonna try and do now is get that third finger right up there on that third fret of that D string. So again, my third finger here, I'm gonna try and reach up here. Now this takes some time, again, definitely, if your thumbs up like that just bring it down get that height you can really see what happens down there if I have my thumb up here once I bring it down the fingers really come up high and the chord generally sounds a lot better because you've got the clearance under the fingers to play that chord and this one with the right hand is gonna be four strings all four strings you can see in the picture there's two crosses on those bottom notes that means don't play again with the right hand just four strings and with the left hand, there's my shape just there, okay? So again, building that from scratch, if you're struggling, the first finger flat across the high two strings, second finger up there on the second fret of the G string, and the third finger just there on the third fret of the D string and playing all four strings there. You're doing a great job. Please don't be too harsh on yourself if you're struggling with that chord and it sounds like, you know, you might have a couple of dead notes in there. Just take your time keep working on it. I just want to point out too that sometimes the easiest and most simple things are the coolest. Like for instance in Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, he's only playing those high two notes. Okay, you might recognize that part. All right, that's literally that lead guitar part that kind of goes over those verses. And that's just bass from that super simple F chord that we started this tutorial with, all right? And then there again, that's only two notes. Sounds so cool. The next way I'm gonna show you is one of my most favorite ways to play an F chord. It's an F power chord and it looks a bit like this. So this chord is awesome if you want a really powerful, chunky kind of sound, okay? It's only got three strings with the right hand and those three strings are the low three strings, the low E, the A and the D string. Okay, so only three, we'll talk about that in a second. And with this hand, it looks like this. Here it is in the picture as well. So you can see here I've got my first finger on the first fret of the low E string. 
All right, so my first finger right up on the tip of the finger there. And I've also got my third and my fourth finger. I'm going to stretch up here to this part of the guitar right here. So I'm going to stretch my third finger up to the third fret on the A string. And I'm going to put my pinky here up on the third fret of the D string. Now, again, with this shape, just like that last shape I showed you, I find it really easy to have my thumb in the center of the position. If your thumb is down here, to stretch up these notes is going to be probably physically impossible. So bring that thumb in the center of the shape. You can see straight away that third and fourth finger just line up really well there. So there's that chord again. I've got my first finger down there on the first fret of the low E. I've got my third finger there on the third fret of the A string. And I've got my pinky up there on the third fret of the D string. I'm going to try and get those fingers sort of as close to the frets as I can, just behind the frets. With my right hand, I'm going to play those low three strings. And you can hear straight away that chord just sounds awesome. It's such a cool sound. I love that sound. The cool thing about this chord too is you can move it around so you can play it in all kinds of different shapes. Okay, I'll talk about that more again in my seven day beginners course. I talk into all that stuff. And with this particular chord uh, or this shape, the power chord, the root note, the lowest note always tells you the chord's name. So that note's an F. Okay, if I go up one, that's now an F sharp. Okay, if I go up one more, it's a G. So that's a G type power chord. So cool to know that simple stuff. So, so far we've learned three ways to do it. I'm going to show you one more way to do it today. Now this way is the bar chord and this can be really tricky at first. I do have a five day bar chord challenge that breaks down bar chords in more ways than you could ever imagine. Again, to show you the easiest possible way to play this chord. So please feel free to check that out. Let's check out this shape. Here it is right here. There's the F bar chord. So bar chords have the bar obviously and with this one it's actually the hardest bar chord of all to play because the first finger has to bar across the first fret now the uh, pressure on that particular fret is sort of the most difficult of all because it's closest to the nut so compared to pushing down up here in the middle of the fretboard it's kind of a lot easier but down here it's quite a quite a stretch to do it but I'm going to show you anyway because you kind of prep for it now so here's the chord shape again I've got my first finger there barred across the entire six strings then from there I'm going to build my chord so next I'm going to put my second finger down there on the second fret of the G string again please check out my bar chord challenge because I break this down heaps more and talk you through all the tricks there's like seven tips or more in that course that I show you um, to make this super easy that I'm not going to go into today after that I've got my third finger there I'm going to bring across there on the third fret of the A string and then I'm going to put my pinky I'm going to squeeze in there on the third fret of the D string just up there okay so that whole thing looks just like that again I've got that bar second finger there third foot finger here and fourth finger here and with my right hand that one's all six strings now don't be too worried at first if you've got a few dead notes there it might sound a bit more like something like that okay it takes quite a bit of time to get that strength in your hand to really build that up and get that sounding great but starting here in that first finger and second finger here just like in that picture there and then third finger here and fourth finger here is what we want okay um couple of tricks with that a few things that we often say with bar chords is you know having that arm on the guitar here just to push back a little bit that way to just uh, apply a slight bit of pressure to this left hand here so it pushes into the chord that's never a bad thing also notice with this picture here the bar itself really is only on the root note that note's really important because it really big part of the sound that shapes that F chord it's kind of like the juice of the chord right and then it's also only on those top two strings so although I'm barring it across six strings it's only really playing this bottom note and then the high two strings the other three in between these three here are being covered by the other fingers there right so they're covered here so you don't need a whole lot of pressure on those so there's a couple of little tips for you there too and playing all six so just a quick refresh from the beginning this first one here is just super easy and again a great voicing all right first finger flat across two second finger here and with my right hand i'm just playing only the three strings there great simple voicing sounds awesome again please remember that something as simple as like uh, the part from smells like teen spirit can be so effective which is just those high two notes I'm sure you can recognize that part. So that's kind of from that chord. All right, next shape here, actual proper F chord. Now this is the standard F 
open chord or if you look in a chord book or uh, most songs on the internet will have this sort of F shape as the open again I'm just adding on to that one from that last chord adding the third finger just on here Okay, a little more tricky. Again, watch where your thumb is in the center of the shape there. If you can at the back of the neck, that'll just make it easier. The next shape we had was the bar chord, which looked just like this here. All right, so first finger now on the low E string and third and fourth together, much chunkier sounding chord. Great for rock. Okay, it's called a power chord for a reason because it sounds really powerful. Such a cool sound. And then our final shape we had here was the bar chord just like that okay and that is that whole shape that I just spoke into before so good luck with that just reach out if you have any questions I'd love to give you some answers and again please feel free to check out my challenge if you want to learn more about all this stuff the bar chord challenge and the seven day beginners guitar challenge thank you so much I'll see you in the next video